What's up guys, it's like a boss here to tell you the, the must-see movies of 2011. Number one, Battle Los Angeles. This movie, I, I've already seen it. It is the most intense movie I've ever seen. It is just amazing. I mean, check this out. Battle Los Angeles. See that? That is beast. And it's pretty awesome. I've seen the movie. It's... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, the storyline is not the really big part to it. It's more of the the thrill of being there. So, thrill of being in the theater. I mean, I saw it in, like, the big D. Like, like it's it's basically an IMAX. It, it was awesome. Number two, Captain America, the first Avenger. Now, what that, now, what that looks like to me is just going to be... I mean, it has Chris Evans in it. I mean, Chris Evans is in, like, every superhero movie. He, he's been in that, f um, the Fantastic Four, was that, like, lightning? I mean, or the fire guy as being in the Captain America movie. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Now we got the Fast Five. Now the Fast Five, I mean, looks like looks like a war movie put in with like cars and like awesome actors. It's gonna be a beast. Okay, then you got the Green Lantern, another superhero movie with Ryan Reynolds. Now with now with Green Lantern, I mean if you if you know Green Lantern, you're gonna think, well this is gonna be cool. Or is it gonna be stupid? I mean the Green Lantern is about this guy with the with the ring and he can do anything with that ring. I mean, like, he can, he could, like, have a hammer come out of it. I mean, I mean, this movie could be stupid or good. It's, it's one of those, it's, it's one of those movies you have to see to decide if it's going to be good or bad. Now, here's the most shocking thing I've ever heard that come out worth a movie. It's Halo, coming in 2012. Now, I have no idea why the hell they're making a freaking Halo movie. This this movie's gonna be it's gonna be bad or good. I don't know. But here's the summary. After the after they crash land on an artificial ring world called Halo, a navy cabin, his surviving marines, and a chemically and surgically enhanced super soldier named John One One Seventeen, Master Chief, must find out what the Covenant, the alien race are at war with, are looking, okay, I'm sorry, I can't read the rest of that, it looks completely stupid. Now, The Men in Black, starring Will Smith. This movie, I mean, like, if you've seen the Men in Black movie, it's like, it's, it's kind of funny, it has aliens in it, and it's, the bad thing about this movie is that they got a lot older, and... That's one. It's another one of those movies you can have to see to see if it's good or bad. So, you got National Treasure Three. Okay, I'm gonna put in. It's gonna be simple. It has Nicholas Cage, so it's gonna suck. Okay, there we go. Paranormal Activity Three. Oh, this movie looks. It looks pretty good. It's coming out this year. I've seen the last two. I mean, it's just kind of like okay, hidden camera. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Whoa, scary. That kind of stuff. So it's going to be more of that. I don't know if that's getting older. but Paul. I don't know why they even rated that R. That's one of the most stupidest ratings of all year. I mean, you, you, I mean, you rated that movie R. I mean, my five-year-old brother that you just saw a video of, he, he was like, oh, I want to go see that movie. Then the rating came out. I was like, it's R? I mean, seriously. What's the problem? Okay, then you got another movie. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Now, with... I mean, I have no idea what they're going to do with this movie, but that's just another one of those... I don't know about movies. Rango, I saw it. It was pretty funny. It had some pretty funny lines to it. Surprisingly, it had like a big giant chain gun toward the end. Pretty good. Screen 4. Hmm. I know, I, I, I want to go see this movie. I haven't seen any of the other screens, but I want to go see that movie. Sucker Punch came out this week. Now, what this... It looks like a chick flick mixed with every 
uh, every other good, awesome sci-fi movie. And they're all girls. So, I don't know what to think of the movie yet. We got Super 8 coming out this summer. Now, what I've heard of is, what I've heard of this is, like, a, a crane, a train crashes and, like, some alien got loose and it's Area 51. I still don't know what to think about that movie. Terminator 5. Coming out in 2014. Still got three more years. Uh, I've seen the last one. You know what? It's just gonna be probably another, probably another replica. The, yeah, it's gonna. I don't know. I don't know. The Amazing Spider-Man coming out in 2012. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be stupid because, like, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's awful. I mean, you you have all new actors. The actors all suck, and. It's, it's not going to be good. I don't care what the villain is. It's not going to be good. Okay, now the Avengers. The Avengers, the only problem you're going to have with that movie is, um, is, is that there's so many, uh, there's going to be so many superheroes in that. Whoa, Scarlett Johansson's in it. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to go see that no matter what. Okay, Dark Knight Rises. Now, the Dark Knight, number three, total box.